What is going on, Trash Talkers? We're back with another episode for you. Today's video, we're going to talk about Lyle Collins being suspended by the NFL for five games and what that means for the Dallas Cowboys moving forward. All that and much more coming your way right now. All right, Trash Talkers, before we get into today's YouTube video, let us know in the comments down below what you think about Lyle Collins being suspended, Michael Gallup being hurt, and where the Dallas Cowboys are right now. Be sure to like the video and hit that subscribe button. Now on to today's video. All right, Nick, news broke that Lyle Collins has been suspended by the NFL for five games for violating the substance abuse policy that the NFL has instituted. Not too many details have come out surrounding this, and I don't know if Lyle Collins will be looking to challenge the commissioner's ruling, but nonetheless, the Dallas Cowboys suffered a defeat to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the waning seconds of their opening game, and now they suffer another defeat. Lyle Collins being out for the next five games. What are your thoughts on this situation? Yeah, this is an absolutely massive blow to the Dallas Cowboys. In the first game of the season, they were out their best player, Zach Martin, their right guard, and we saw just how big of an impact that had on them. Ezekiel Elliott nearly did nothing on that field against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because they did not have Zach Martin out there. Their second best lineman is Lael Collins. He is one of the most athletic offensive tackles in the NFL. And without a guy like that who can get to the second level extremely fast, especially when you have running backs like Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard rushing outside, I think this is going to be a massive blow to the Dallas Cowboys for the next five games. They now have to endure other defensive ends like Joey Bosa and Brandon Graham hitting that edge without any repercussions. Leo Collins would have been the solidifying factor that kept them at bay. But now without him there, it is free roaming to Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott looked fantastic, but he had his bookends there. Now one of them is missing. It's going to make his life even harder as well. And that's going to reciprocate onto the wide receivers who are down with the absence of Michael Gallup. The Dallas Cowboys are down bad right now, and it's not looking good. No, and to add insult to injury, talking about injuries specifically, Michael Gallup goes down with a high ankle sprain, and he's expected to be out for three to five weeks. And their schedule is pretty tough during that time frame. You talked about Joey Bosa and Brandon Graham. Well, they start off with the Chargers on September 19th at week for week two, then the Philadelphia Eagles, the Carolina Panthers, the New York Giants, and then the New England Patriots in the final of that five-game stretch. If they're without Michael Gallup and Lyle Collins for that stretch, they are going to be in worlds of trouble because that is a tough schedule. You're talking about Lyle Collins coming back against the Minnesota Vikings on October 31st, which essentially could have been the dagger for the Dallas Cowboys. Their season could essentially be over before it really even got started. I understand that they played their first game already, but we're only one game into the NFL season, and they are down two of their main starters on the offensive side of the ball. This is not a good sign for the Dallas Cowboys, and I understand that they have a lot that they have to work through if they're going to look to overcome this. Now, taking a look at what possible replacements are for Lyle Collins, they have a really good swing tackle on their roster and that being Ty Niseki, I believe he's going to have to come in and really step up for this team otherwise you're going to see Isaac Alarcon who listen we all loved from hard knocks but I don't think he is up to the test to start at right tackle for this team Dak Prescott coming off of this massive injury they need to protect the right side of this offensive line make sure that they never lose him again especially with what we saw him able to do against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense I think that the Cowboys have a lot of questions and they need to start figuring out some of these answers. 
The Cowboys absolutely have some massive questions to answer. My biggest question, though, is coming from the head coach, Mike McCarthy, and what he's thinking about this offense right now because they want to make Dak Prescott the focal point, and I get that. When you have CeeDee Lamb and Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup as your receivers, you want to throw that ball around, but 58 times to Ezekiel Elliott's 11 rush attempts is preposterous. You need to balance that out more. You need to put the defense on their heels a little bit more so they're not just thinking, okay, it's a pass every single time. Ezekiel Ezekiel Elliott is too good. He is a top five running back in the league, and he is not being utilized as such. He needs to be a guy who gets the ball every few snaps. He cannot just be a guy that you use as a decoy. He is not Odell Beckham Jr. He is better. He is a fantastic running back that can absolutely blow the doors off the defense if you give him the opportunity. Without the opportunity, it's going to be a very stagnant offense, and that's why we saw the Tampa Bay Buccaneers able to come back last night. You run that ball a little bit more, they're going to win that game because Tom Brady doesn't get the ball. That's going to be the same case moving forward for all these games. You need to have a more balanced approach, and this is all falling on Mike McCarthy. I didn't like Mike McCarthy last year. I thought that he had a very poor performance in his first year as the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys, and we see that continuing so far into this season. If I'm Jerry Jones, I'm keeping him on a short leash, and I'm waiting for him to make another mistake because I'm ready to get rid of him. Yeah, unfortunately, it seems like Jerry Jones is a big Mike McCarthy fan, and that's simply because he can control Mike McCarthy. He can really control everything that happens with the roster, and he has a guy that he knows who will essentially do whatever he's told, not a free thinker like Bill Belichick or Pete Carroll or any of these guys that you see have true success in the NFL. Nonetheless, taking a look at those five games that I mentioned before, if the Dallas Cowboys don't have Michael Gallup and they don't have Lyle Collins, it's going to be a struggle. And with the Chargers and Eagles next up on the docket, I believe those are going to be tough calls, but I believe they can win those games. The next three are going to be even tougher, and I think they'll end up losing those. The Panthers, the Giants, and the Patriots all present big pass rush problems for every team they face, and they are only going to ramp up the pressure knowing that Lyle Collins is out. And seeing what we saw from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defensive line, how they absolutely mauled players like Connor Williams and Tyler Biadesh, I believe that they are going to absolutely turn up the pressure and we are going to see a lot of pressure on Dak Prescott moving forward. We absolutely are, and Dak Prescott's got his work cut out for him, but I think he's got the right mindset. He's already shown that his body is performing the way it should. I think that everything could be clicking for them as long as they get these few kinks worked out. They have just had some bad luck so far, but it can all be turned around. It is not too late. From what I saw, the defense of the Dallas Cowboys was a huge surprise in that week one matchup. They looked fantastic, especially in run defense. They really held Leonard Fournette and Ronald Jones to very few yards and that was a very good sign. Trayvon Diggs looking like a fantastic year two cornerback. I think that th this defense, if Micah Parsons can figure himself out, I think this is going to be a very solid defense that can really help the Dallas Cowboys become a very competitive team in the NFC this season. Absolutely. I, th I think that the Dallas Cowboys have a lot going for them, but they have to figure this stuff out. And this is the stuff that tends to hold the Dallas Cowboys back year in and year out. There's always some controversy. There's always somebody who's missing. There's always an excuse built in. And this year, they, they are starting to run out of excuses. Jerry Jones knows that the pressure is on for him as an owner to get the job done because the Dallas Cowboys faithful are not going to be so nice come the next season if they're not winning football games. So at, at this point, the Dallas Cowboys really have to figure their stuff out. Lyle Collins, specifically, I'm talking to you. You need to figure out how you tested positive and what you can do to avoid it next time because right now it's just not working for this team or for the NFL for that matter. All right, well, that's going to be all for now. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. We go live every single day. That'll be all. Peace and love.